Hello you guys, my name is Maggie and I am from the Weller Center at Lehigh Valley Hospital. What the Weller Center does is we travel to a bunch of different schools and we teach different health programs. So some of you may recognize me from when I came into your schools and taught you guys face to face. Some of you may not and that is perfectly okay. So what the Weller Center does is we teach all these different health programs. So I teach a lot of different things. I teach things like stress, I teach depression, I teach about drugs, so I teach a lot of different health topics. But for you guys today, we are talking about puberty. I know, I know, this is probably the last thing that you guys ever want to learn about. But it is incredibly important because puberty is just science. We're not embarrassed when we learn about the skeleton. We're not embarrassed when we learn about our bodies. So we shouldn't be embarrassed when we're talking about puberty because that's just what it is. We're just talking about how our body changes when we reach a certain age. And it is an incredibly important topic. We want you guys to be getting the right information based on science. And we don't want you guys to be finding the wrong things online. So we are gonna be talking about puberty today. We are talking about both the female reproductive system and the male reproductive system. So boys and girls, we are talking about all of you today. All right, so we're gonna talk about what puberty is, changes you're gonna see, and what we can do about it. All right, so let's get started. All right, you guys, let's get started talking about puberty and reproductive health. So our journey begins in a very certain part of the body, the brain specifically a part of the brain called the pituitary gland. You guys can see it over here on the right. It is super small. The pituitary gland is only about the size of a bean. And this part of the brain is really important because that's what kickstarts puberty. So what exactly is puberty? Well, puberty is the role hormones play in the growth and development of the human body. So that's what puberty is. It's just your body growing and developing once you reach a certain age. So once you reach a certain age, your pituitary gland is gonna kickstart puberty. It's gonna say to itself, you know what? We're a certain age, it's time to start growing. And it's gonna trigger all these hormones in your body to begin to grow and develop until you turn into a full grown adult. Now, puberty is different for everybody. Some people go through puberty super early, and some people go through puberty super late. Now, for girls, you're going to go through puberty a little bit earlier. So most girls will go through puberty on average between 11 to 12 years old. For boys, you're a little bit later. You're going to blossom a little bit later than the gals. You're going to go through puberty between 12 to 13 years old. Now, like I said, puberty is different for everybody. So I knew people who didn't go through puberty until they were 15, and I also knew people who went through puberty when they were nine years old. So it is different for everybody, but no matter what, I promise you will go through puberty. It just may be a little bit different time than some of your friends or classmates. So what changes can you expect to see during puberty? Well, there's a lot of them. I know when I talk about this at the schools, a lot of people will actually just tell me, you know what, puberty is pretty much getting gross. And you're right, you get do get kind of gross when you go through puberty. Because one really big change you're gonna see is body odor. Your pits are gonna start to get really, really stinky. You might notice you're gonna smell a little bit different than you did before, and you're gonna get a lot smellier during the day than you did before when you were younger. You're also going to notice you're going to get taller. Now, for some people, they may only get a couple inches taller, but my brother, for example, he got really tall really fast. When he went through puberty, he actually grew an entire foot in one summer. So boys, some of you may shoot up really, really quickly, and some girls, you may shoot up really quickly too. Just depends on the person. Next are going to be some voice changes. Now, everybody's voice changes during puberty. For girls, it's a very slight change, so you may not even notice. For boys, it's going to be a lot more dramatic. Some of your friends may come in one day sounding like Mickey Mouse, and the next week they may sound a little bit more like Darth Vader. So your voice is going to get really, really deep really quickly. Next is hair growth. So your bodies are going to get really, really hairy. Everybody's going to get more hair on their arms, on their legs. They're going to get pubic hair. For boys, you're also going to see notice some chest hair and back hair, and you may even start to get a mustache and beard. Everybody will definitely experience mood swings. So when you're going through puberty, you have a ton of hormones in your body, a lot more than the average person. So because of those hormones, you may notice some mood swings from time to time. You may go from being really happy to suddenly really sad or really angry just out of nowhere. Believe me, it is not your fault. It is puberty causing it. Just take a breath, maybe leave the room for a second and then come back. And I promise your mood swing will pass very quickly. 
And finally, you may notice some acne as well, because when you're going through puberty, you may notice that your face is going to get a little bit more oily than it did before. And that oiliness in your face can cause acne, cause pimples in your face. So what can we do about it? All these things are happening, but can we control them? And the answer to that is yes. There are some little changes that we can make that actually, actually can help us through puberty. So one change we can start to make is washing our faces. So you can buy acne face washes at the grocery store for less than $5. And those can definitely help make a difference in your face when you start to break out really bad. Another thing we all need to be doing, no matter what your gender is, Everybody needs to be wearing deodorant. Deodorant is super, super important. You may not notice the way you smell, but believe me, everybody else can. So make sure you're using deodorant every single day. Before you go to school, when you wake up in the morning, put some deodorant on both of your armpits. If you don't have any at home, just mention to your parents one day. Say, hey, mom and dad, next time you go to the grocery store, can you pick me up a stick of deodorant? And believe me, they're going to be very happy to pick it up for you. Next, you're going to make sure you want to brush your teeth twice a day. Now, everybody should be brushing their teeth twice a day, but it's very important to continue that when you go through puberty. Because when you go through puberty, your breath may start to get a little bit smellier than it was before. So make sure you're brushing your teeth once in the morning and once at night for two minutes at least. Next, make sure you're showering often. So make sure you're shampooing your hair and washing your body and try to shower a little bit more than you did before because your body going through puberty is going to be producing a lot more oil and that oiliness can make you feel kind of gross, a little bit smellier than you did before. Especially your hair may feel a little bit different and your skin. So make sure you try to shower at least every single day. Even if you don't wash your hair every single day, just because some people have different hair textures, make a point to at least wash your body. Now for girls and guys too, if you want, we're going to start getting hair on our legs. So girls, if you were interested, you can start shaving your legs. Now please make sure you have an adult with you when you do this the first time. Don't just grab a razor and go directly to your legs. We don't want anybody cutting themselves. And for boys, you are going to be getting facial hair, so maybe you might be interested in starting to shave when that happens. And again, just make sure you have a parent or guardian there to help you the first time. Girls, another thing I didn't mention during puberty is your breasts are going to start to grow. They're going to get a lot bigger than they did before. So make sure you start wearing a bra. Now, for the first time you get a bra, try to have an adult there with you to help pick it out. You do not need a $60 Victoria's Secret bra. That is not necessary. Just a simple sports bra can do, and you can pick them up at most stores. All right, so next we're going to start talking about cells. Now, you guys may have heard of cells before. You may have learned about them in science class. So cells are the building blocks to us. Every single part of your body is made of cells. So there are cells in your skin, your blood, your eyes, your toes, your hands. Every part of your body is made of cells. That's what makes something living. That's what makes a living thing. Now, there are two very important cells when you go through puberty. These are called reproductive cells. Every single person has reproductive cells, both male and female. And reproductive cells are very important because you need reproductive cells if anybody wants to have a baby one day in the future. So that's what puberty basically is. It's your body getting ready to have a baby one day when you're way, way older. So for females, the reproductive cell you have is called an egg cell. I'll talk about them in a little bit. And for males, you have something called sperm cells. So that is what they look like on the right. Very different from the female egg cell. And we're going to make both of those when we go through puberty. So males, you're going to be making sperm cells. And females, you have egg cells. Now females, you actually have all the egg cells you'll ever need. I'm going to talk about where your body stores them. So the day you're born, you're going to have all of the egg cells. Guys, that's not the case. You're going to start making sperm cells the day you go through puberty. And you're going to make a lot of it. An adult male can make up to a trillion sperm cells in one month alone. And females, by the time you go through puberty, you're only going to have about 300,000 egg cells in your body. So guys make a lot more sperm than girls have egg cells. So I just want you guys to think about that again. Females, they have all the egg cells they'll ever need and you're born with them. Guys, you're not born with sperm. 
you make that when you go through puberty until the day you die. So let's talk a little bit more about the reproductive system. So this is a female reproductive system. Girls, you're first. So I want to talk about a couple very important parts of the female reproductive system. So the first part that is super important are the ovaries. There are two of them. They're over here on the left and here on the right. And ovaries are very important because that's where all those egg cells are stored. They're stored here in the ovary. Next is the fallopian tube that is it's connected right here to the ovary. And they're connected to the uterus. So that is what the uterus looks like right there. And a uterus is very important because if a girl gets pregnant one day, that is where the baby is going to live and grow for nine months inside of the uterus. Next is the cervix. And finally, the vagina. All right, so those are some key parts of the female reproductive system. So girls, I bet you're sitting there thinking, okay, I have all of these parts, that's wonderful, but what happens to them during puberty? Well, during puberty, once a month, one of those egg cells is gonna leave the ovary. It's gonna leave the ovary and come hang out here in the uterus just in case a woman wants to get pregnant one day. To prepare for this, the uterus gets really, really thick. It gets about twice the size it usually does. It gets thick with mucus and blood. Now, if a woman does not get pregnant, so if that egg doesn't get fertilized by a sperm cell, then that extra lining will shed. So a uterus will basically get rid of all that extra blood and mucus because it doesn't need it because the uterus did not get pregnant. And this is what a period is. So it's all that extra lining leaving your uterus. And that happens once a month. So every single month for girls, you're going to get your period. And it's going to be a little shocking at first, but I promise you're going to get used to it. Now, every girl is different, and everybody's period lasts a different amount of time. So for most girls, your period is going to last anywhere from three to seven days. For some girls, maybe one month, your period may last all the way up to 10 days, or maybe your period will only last about two days. Again, it really just depends. Every month is a little bit different. But it happens around the same time, so I highly recommend getting a calendar. And in that calendar, mark down the days where you get your period. So if you got your period on July 1st, mark it down in a calendar and keep track of how many days it lasts. Because guaranteed the next month, your period is going to come around the same time. It'll probably get it around August 1st or maybe 2nd or 3rd. Again, it just depends. Now when you have your period, there are some things you can use. Definitely use some pads or maybe tampons just to help with the mess and make sure the cleanup is really, really easy. Ask an adult at home to help you the first time when you get your period. All right, so that is girls. Let's move on to boys. All right, guys, so just like the girls, we're going to go over a couple of key parts in the male reproductive system. So one really important part is something right here. This is called the testicle. So guys have two of them, just like the girls with ovaries. Girls have two ovaries and guys have two testicles. And those testicles are very important because that is where sperm is made. Remember those sperm I was talking about, your reproductive cells? Well, when you go through puberty, your testicles are going to begin making a ton of sperm and you're going to be making them up until the day you die. Now, after they're made in the testicles, they're going to be stored in the epididymis. That is this part right here along the side of it. All right, and another key part is the main one right over here, the penis. And when you go through, when you go through puberty, your penis is going to change a little bit. It's going to maybe change shape. It's going to look a little bit different, a little bit bigger than it did before. And again, nothing is wrong with you guys. You're just going through puberty. So it's going to look a little different than it did before you started puberty. Now there are some things that happen to guys, and one really important one is something called a nocturnal emission. It's also called a wet dream. So guys, once you start going through puberty, something happens to you at night. Sometimes in the middle of the night, sperm will leave the penis in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. You have absolutely no control over this. It just happens. So you may wake up one morning and notice there's something on your pajamas or maybe on your sheets. It may look a little white or crusty. This is just a nocturnal emission. And again, you have no control. This just happens in the middle of the night. So when this happens, just take your pajamas and your 
your sheets and put them in the laundry. You have nothing to be embarrassed by. This happens to so many guys, especially when you're going through puberty. It may not happen every single night, and it may not happen to every single guy. But again, when it happens, don't be freaked out and don't be embarrassed. It is just something your body goes through. And like I said a couple of times, you have no control. So there's nothing to be embarrassed by. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot about puberty. I know whenever I teach this in person, everybody is freaking out in the beginning, but by the end, everybody's like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. So for you guys, I hope it wasn't as bad as you were expecting. And I'm sure you guys probably have a ton of questions about puberty. So I highly recommend asking one of your teachers or a parent at home some questions you guys may have. Definitely leave some questions in the comments below. We would be happy to answer them for you. And if you do look up some information online, make sure you're getting it from the right resources. We want you guys to make sure you're getting the right information and nothing incorrect. All right, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye!